Okay, so this time we are going to balance a reaction under basic conditions. What that means is at the end, you're going to need to make sure all these atoms are balanced, but you can also have waters or OH minuses, because that's hydroxide, which is what we use for basic conditions. Um, the problem is that adding water or OH minus anywhere you want in there actually gets kind of confusing. So I'm actually going to do this under acidic conditions and then just fix it at the end. It's actually the easier option and that's how I always do these. So well, let's take a stab at this. Our two half reactions are the two nitrogen compounds, our one half reaction and the two aluminum compounds. Doesn't matter which one is which, but we'll figure it out. Okay. So we have NO2 minus becoming NH3. We are going to assume that this is acidic conditions. I know it says basic. We're going to assume acidic until the very end. Okay, so first things first, we have uh, one nitrogen on both sides. We can add water or H plus anywhere we feel like. So um, let's deal with the water, or with the, deal with the oxygens first. So we have two oxygens there. Sorry, pen's rolling away. So we get two waters on that side. This gives us four hydrogens here and another three hydrogens here, which would give us seven H pluses on this side. Okay, so now we gotta figure out the charges. This side, everything's adds up to zero. This side, it's seven times one is seven, minus one is plus six. So we're gonna need six electrons on that side to make it add up to zero also. So the six minus and the six plus adds up to zero. Okay, now we're gonna do the other half reaction. Aluminum becoming AlO2 minus. We're going to assume acidic conditions for right now. We have two oxygens, so we need two waters to get our two oxygens on this side. That gives us four hydrogens, so we're going to do four H pluses here. Now we need to figure out what the charges are. So this side adds up to zero, and this side adds up to four minus one is plus three, which is three electrons on that side. Okay, to get everything to cancel out, we will need to double this second reaction because this has three electrons, this has six. If you double this, that would be six and six, they will cancel out. So we're gonna have to double the entire second reaction, but we don't have to change the first one. Okay, so. Now I'm going to rewrite everything. We know the electrons cancel, so I'm not going to bother writing that down, but all the reactants on one side are the reactants, and then all the products, and then we'll cancel out what we can. So from this first reaction, we have 7H plus plus NO2 minus, and then from this reaction, we have 2 times 2 waters would be 4 plus 2 aluminums. All right, 2 times everything. Okay, that's our reactants, and we're running out of space, so I'm going to do the products underneath. From the first reaction, we have NH3 plus 2H2O. And then from this one, we're going to double everything. So it's plus 2 aluminum, well, AlO2 minus plus 8H plus. Okay, now we're going to cancel out everything that we possibly can, anything that's the same on both sides. Okay, we have 7H pluses here. We have 8 here, so basically all but one are going to cancel out. We have four waters here and two waters here, so these two will cancel out, and this will just become a two. If this was acidic conditions, we would just rewrite it all and be done. So two, NO2 minus plus two waters plus two aluminums forms NH3 plus two AlO2 minus plus H plus. Right? So... Because we have basic conditions, we can't leave it like this. We have H pluses and waters. The water's not a problem, but the H plus is. So, to tri to, so this is under acidic conditions. To get it to basic, what we're gonna do is everywhere you see an H plus in the completely finalized balanced version of this, you're going to add that many OH minuses to both sides. So we have one H plus, we're gonna add one OH minus. If this was 17 H pluses, you'd add 17 OHs but you have to add it to both sides. Okay, H plus is acidic, OH minus is basic. These do not destroy each other, but they do cancel out each other's acidity and basicity. H plus OH makes water. So we now have another water over here, which means we're going to have to cancel that out. 
one water here. There was two here, so that will cancel out. So this is gone, and now we can rewrite everything. Under, I guess I'll keep my colors consistent. Under basic conditions, what you're gonna do is you're gonna have NO2 minus plus one water plus two aluminum plus an OH minus forms NH3 plus two AlO2 minus. So now let's double check everything. One nitrogen, one nitrogen, um, two aluminums, two aluminums, so that's encouraging. Okay, oxygens, we have two, three, four, and here we have two times two is four, so that's good. Hydrogens, we have two, uh, three, I guess, and here we have three, so that's good. Charges, we have negative one, zero, zero, negative one. So this is negative two overall, and this is two times negative one. This is negative two also. So everything's good. This is our final answer. So really, you just do it under acidic conditions, just like we did in the previous problem. The only additional part is at the very end, anywhere you have an H plus, you add that many OHs to both sides. H plus OH makes water, and then you have to cancel out any waters that are formed and rewrite everything, and you should be good.